Hey there, peeps. Uh, it's nice to see you. And uh, I must confess that I actually, um, I went home and I forgot to do a speedy read. I know it's naughty. So I came back and I found one. It's quite a short one, but it's a brilliant one that I want to read with you. Would you like to hear it? I do hope so. Yeah, now this one is called Meg's Veg. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite an old book. It's by Helen Nichol and Jan uh, Pankowski. Yeah. And, um, I, well, this is actually my old book. Yeah, look. Well, I say that. Yeah, it is, look. Benjamin Fox from Mumby and Dar. And uh, this is from March 1982, so I was, oh, I was a tiny tiny little boy but I love Meg's Veg and they sent this up for me so that I could have a speedy read and I'm going to share it with you yeah okay that's what I'm going to do so are you ready for Meg's Veg mmm oh I hope so here we are Meg's Veg by Helen Nicole and Jan Piankowski okay that's how you write it not to say it probably okay it was springtime time for Meg to start her vegetable garden Look, Mog and Owl and Meg, they've got some flowers. Mm. Meg fetched the muck. Mog dug the earth. Owl raked it smooth. <sighs> Ooh, smelly muck is a bit pongy. And look, mm, Mog's found a worm. Owl sowed the peas and carrots. And Mog put in a pumpkin. Meg sowed some seeds she had found in her cauldron. Oh, I wonder what they might grow into. It was so cold, no seeds grew. Oh, Mog made a scarecrow to guard his pumpkin. Oh, look, he's cold, he's going <clears throat> Meg tried to make the sun shine. Make a sunshine spell, said Al. So this is what Meg said. She said, Camel's hump and vulture's eye. Make it bake and frizzle and fry. What's it gonna do? The sun shone. It got hotter and hotter and hotter. Look, it's got so hot. It's wilting, the poor plant's wilting. What's gonna happen? Poor thing, said Owl. It needs a drink. Make it rain, make it rain, said Mog. So, this is what Meg said, in between having a nice ice cream. She said, splish splosh, all awash, Wellington boots and Macintosh. What kind of spell's this gonna be? Well, the rain came down in sheets. Splish, splash, splosh. It's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring. That's right, that's the next part of that song. The garden grew like a jungle. Oh, my, my, what a picture, said Meg. Hmm, these aren't peas, said Al. What can you see down there? No, it's a cheeky dinosaur. They had to pull up all the weeds. One, two, three. Oh, look, Meg tries. Then Mog helps her, and then Al helps Mog and Meg. Can they do it? Can they do it? Oh, Ouch, meow, squawk. They got it. They all fell over at the same time. They made a huge compost heap. That is a big one. It is indeed. And then they had to stake the peas. Yeah, she's putting the stakes in and that's so the peas can grow up. They need something to hold on to. And thin out the carrots. So, uh, oh look, the birds are stealing the carrots to uh, maybe feed their little chicks. They had to hoe down the rows. That's it, I was doing a good job. And water the pumpkin. Look how big Mock's pumpkin is. And then they had to eat them all. Oh my goodness me, look at that. All of those peas, all of those carrots. And I think I'm missing a page. Yep, missing a page on my book because obviously that would be where the rest of the pumpkin is and Al would be there. Helping with the carrots um, and the other things they grew. <laughs> that is the lovely book. That is Meg's Veg. Look, there she is with all the muck. And there's Meg and Mog and Al pulling it out. And that was one of my favourite speedy reads when I was uh, three years old. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I'll see you soon for another speedy read.
I will indeed. All right, you go easy. See you soon. Bye.